because it looks like it's worth a lot of money. What's a mechanical pussy? Wouldn't you want to keep it? Well, would no, because it's cheaper to have the real thing. Pam, are you uh, here? He is not in the channel. He never came back. Hmm. He went to reboot his computer. It's not back yet. Alright, well, we're just going to say he's running down the hall and late for the party. <laughs> That's what you get for drinking too much. Lovely. Would that be agreeable? Can I please have the cat? Mm. I might want to fight you for that some more. Wait, I thought, I, uh, I thought Gregos grabbed the cat when he came in. We can have it in our room like a mascot like we did the beer spider. That that space has been empty now some time. Or, it's okay. a hole in our hearts. But if but if we sell it we can split the gold. We we could do. I mean depending what I mean no, I'm a fan of coin. I've got twenty five gold pieces I need to make back, and I think we've made quite a bit so far whilst delving in here, so I'm not too fussed, but I would love a gold cat, either as a mascot, depending on what the pilot wants, or as gold. But it looks expensive. I know, but I don't think that cat is there as a reward or a piece of treasure. I bet there's more significant use for that cat. We won't know until we pick it up. The significance of this cat is it's been mickly purred in front of a corpse for Christ knows how long. Its significance is going to be lining Just my be pocket warned. with gold. Oh, I'm always careful. As Interesting you can tell, discussion I, I here. Always detect traps. You know, I point but, to my hair. I, well, like I said before, those wraiths are really tricky. And your hair is getting too long anyways. Yeah. I tell you what, I, I know I, I took it back, but I will pay for your haircut. If I can watch. It's <laughs> <coughs> great goes back. I thought I saw you move. I think the the hounds within his house are probably requiring his attention. Oh no, they've got in. They found a way in. Chili's uh, still <laughs> AFK then? Just for a moment, it seems. No problem. Well, as you guys are starting to encroach your way towards the, the cat, uh, Red points of light bloom in the shrouded figure's dark eye sockets, and it speaks in a raspy voice. More visitors. How lovely. I am Lady Alicia Ambergol. Why have you disturbed our central rest, our eternal rest? Wait, this is the cat? No, this is the, the actual figure sitting into one of the thrones in the room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The eyes. Been back for quite some time. Only my mic's been muted. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Tilly. I'll Thanks. read that again oh. for you. Red points of light bloom. I, I heard that. Okay. All right. uh, yeah, I've, I've been here for I don't know five minutes. She says, like, yeah, nobody hear me? More visitors. How lovely. Welcome back. Hello, Pam. Welcome back, Pam. Welcome back, Pam. You're in the. All of a sudden, uh, you guys hear some footsteps. You turn around, and there's Pam running down the hallway, like you had just seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you Damn. I, I, I am never slept. slept I can still see anything. <laughs> um, can I check on the scroll of the family history? Check where this woman falls in it, in on it. She is at the very top. Oh. And it was Elisha, wasn't it? Yes. So she's the head matriarch. Yep. She says, I am Lady Alicia Ambergol. And why have you disturbed our eternal rest? You weren't partying enough. Uh, I will take this opportunity to address this fair lady. I said, I, I do. Uh, she's bonds. Well, she's still fair. The fair, no. fair is quite slim in. Okay. She has a thigh gap. Mm. <laughs> a size zero. <laughs> She's a negative five. <laughs> All supermodels wish to know her secrets. 
My apologies for disturbing your rest, Lady Chambergal, but my party and I have been charged with a boon by um, the local militia at Daggerford to find an ancient key that may be held within these dwellings. Um, no disrespect was intended, but we need this key to thwart a potential menace that harms the very safety of the citizens of the of the city. Oh, you must be talking yeah. about the... <laughs> she says, you must be talking about the Elemental Keys. A group that had just passed here not long ago also was inquiring about the Elemental Keys as well. I cannot say where they're at, but I do know where that the members were. of the old Elemental Cults, they were bound by magic not to speak of these keys, so I don't know anything about them. That is all I know. Tell us of this group that passed through here earlier. How many were there? The woman was pleasant enough, but she has the lowest regard for the company that she was keeping. Half breeds and imbeciles, so she woman. says. <laughs> right? <laughs> was this woman potentially missing an ear, by chance? She was. Did she have like two chins, the bottom chin being significantly larger than her actual chin. Or another description being a land whale. <laughs> what? No, I think she's taking the uh, appearance of that uh, She looked garden. like her. She looked like Honey Boo Boo's mom. Fucking fear check. Despair check every time I look at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's here, chilly, running down his hallway with his headset on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to drive also. I would like to ask the Lady Militia, uh, pray tell, uh, which direction did this group head? They headed north. But as to comment on my cat, you like my pet? I made it myself. I, I, I think your pet is fantastic. Samoro loves pussy. Do love the pussy. I offer it to you, you made it yourself. as a gift. Yes, I made it myself many years ago. That is most kind of you. You have been a most gracious host. I would gladly take catch? your pussy. Yeah, what's the catch? There is no catch. It's just a gift for you from me. It's, it's not ruinous, people. It's a gift. I'm taking it's it. It's an NSA oh. <laughs> Either she can't stop us from taking it, or she wants us to have it. I, I want to have it. She said that making cats was a hobby of hers back when she was in the living, and she has many of these cats. What, down here? Uh, not down here, but through the years when I was living, I... I made them, but I do have several left. I would like to know the location of these cats, if you don't mind. I mean, if, if you don't mind them being passed along, your legacy continuing so for free. That craft. is not important. Wow, way to spin it. <laughs> but I would like to, for you to have this cat, just like the other group I gave a cat to. Oh, I see. Uh, was their cat better than ours? Oh, you ask some of the stupidest fucking questions. <laughs> I, I, I speak for personal motivation. Was their cat better than ours? Well, because if it is, I want it. It was a, it was a 2.0 2. cat. I am next, rather tired. Next best model. If you have any other questions about my humble abode, feel free to ask them, or I'm, I'm going to go back to sleep. Well, I, I'm done, Gregor, so you're up, mate, if you've got any questions. How many more areas are there? How big is this crypt? Our estate is actually rather large. There are many there are many tombs and chambers and, and there's actually a cave system in here as well. Uh when Okay. When you made those cats, did you make anything peculiar about them? They're just simple constructs. Thank you. 
And also, why are you uh, still here? Wouldn't you rather live peacefully on in the afterworld? I roam around from time to time. I just like to make sure that our estate is well taken care of and maintained. Roam as you around. can, as you, as you can see, the last several years haven't been kind. As I am truly getting old now. You still look beautiful. You're not gonna bone me. <laughs> no pun intended. Don't worry. Right. Alright. I guess I'm done asking questions of the skeletal woman. I just have one set up. Way, way too generous with her pussy. <laughs> yes, I'm concerned about that also. Yes, young lady. Let I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll forgive you because I do take care of myself. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Great rough companion there. You He's a metrosexual. You, oh, it's you, easy to be conceived. You seem to be a woman. I'm sorry, my eyes are bad. That's okay. I'm male where it counts and I'm not ashamed of it. So, <laughs> the question to you, <laughs> Lady Ambergirl, is that should we. Um, come across something that we may seek um, further questioning on. Can we always come back to you? I may or not be here, but feel free to use the runes as transportation throughout our estate. Ah, yes, oh. the runes. How Which do they ones work? do what? You touch on them, and you go to the area that that rune is designated to. So there is three runes, each one goes to a different area, correct? Yeah, that's correct. I can't remember, it's been such a long time since I've used them and my my present state I personally can't activate the runes, but I know they do work still. Hmm, interesting. How mm -hmm. do you activate them? May need skin. You just touch do them. you just touch them? Yeah. Well, I mm -hmm. couldn't hurt to ask. Just place your hand over them. No, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Hey, what's I up, mean, Styles? They may have wanted us to stick a penis in there. Well, of course, I know Samora would probably be up for that, but whatever. Well, there was a slimy <laughs> hole earlier. Early. <laughs> Still haven't tried that route. Okay, so so we know that this band of brigands that came before us have headed north, and they each, ha uh, well, they, their party has a mechanical cat in addition to ourselves. Now, do we want to give chase, or would we potentially want to go south? Uh, lady, lady of Russia, are you able to tell me what is down the so southern steps? Where would that lead us? There is a cavern system down that way. A very beautiful cavern system, from what I remember. I haven't been down there in, in uh, quite, quite, a, quite some time now. But from what I remember, it's a beautiful system. What purpose did it serve? Seems such a strange thing to have a cavern. Actually, that was going to be a future part of the estate, but my family and myself, our, our lives ended before we could complete it. And my children, eh, they didn't really worry about it, so they just kind of let it go. Typical children. <laughs> well, to answer your question some more, I think we should probably try to follow this group that is before us, because I would hate to be exploring along and just stumble across them. Yeah, I want to well, know I, where they're at. Uh, the, the, the reason I was kind of approaching it, just in case this cavern system may lead to like a shortcut, you know, to cut them off or anything like that, is what I was kind of grasping at. But it seems like it would be just a dead end, because it's like an unfinished part of the crypt, so it's just hollowed out. Yeah. Well, we could probably try if you be a rogue and follow the footsteps. How about that? Oh, don't say hate children, Cypher. If there's footsteps wow. for me to follow, I thought I'm that was going to be sassy. Uh, if there's footsteps for me to follow, I'll certainly follow them. You know me. I'll, I'll, I'll feign ignorance. You. Well, thank you, Lady Relosha, for your time, by all means. We're, we're going to go and try and meet up with our fellows up ahead. Oh, are they your friends? Oh, no, goodness gracious, no, we're going to murder them, most horribly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God, that was good. Mm. Oh, no.
sample of that, recorded sample of that. But obviously, due to respect to your legacy, we will be discreet. I'll make that my cell phone ringtone. Don't make too much of a mess on my beautiful estate. Oh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. Do you have any spare cottons? Well, you just came from the crypt area. There were plenty of crypts back that way. You can get of course, they were all full. Just want your permission. Right, I'm gonna start heading. I don't think we should press on those teleportation things until. I assume in that when we get into rooms, there's gonna probably be a clue to show which teleportation stone leads us to where. So I don't think we should touch those and just explore manually. The urns are still shaking as well in the background. You can hear them there. <laughs> Mm, they can shake all they want. They ain't getting out. <laughs> uh, lady, what were in the urns? Really? Those were relatives yeah. of mine. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, that one was like that when we got here. <laughs> I got a bit restless. I seen you destroy her. She wasn't a favorite of mine anyway, so that's why I didn't yeah, intervene. She's, she was a bitch. <laughs> Scary bitch. Yeah, see, if she was as polite as you, then this would have happened. She was falling apart at the seams. <laughs> Couldn't keep herself together. The urns are of distant relatives that uh, were not our favorites. That's why they don't have their own designated catacomb. So, we just gave them a, a nice urn instead. Oh, well, speaking of favorites, then, would, no you be able to give, um, would you be able to give us any more information with the room, with the four gargoyle statues? Because that seems to be the only room with uh, four gargoyles, and it has a mirror with a statue. Uh, oh, so the, us any from the gargoyles were still alive? That's surprising. My husband what? put those in there many years ago. What his hobby, alive? His hobby, well, gargoyles do come to life once in a while, you know. And, and what's the deal with the mirrors in there? Oh, that was for my daughter. Oh, I see. Was she, was she quite beautiful in life? Oh, she was beautiful. We reminded her of that every day. Oh, I see. Well, oh, I, I get it. I get what you mean. Then one, one further boon I must ask of you. We came across yes. a statue <laughs> that had its hands held upright. Now, we tried pressing them upon these hands, but nothing seemed to happen. Is there any relevance to this statue, perchance? Are you talking about the statue towards the entrance to our estate? Uh, yeah, quite. It was, a, it was a block that we had to climb over, and then we saw it as we was going down the hallway. Oh yes, the statue actually approaches the block and actually crushes anyone uh, that is actually trying to push the block. But I, get, I can see that it's not working, because you're here, and so is the other party. But oh. it was an old trap, oh. it was probably set, it was probably sprung some time ago. Some time ago. Were there any corpses, or... Or any remains? No, nothing that we had to clean up anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Indeed. Ah, oh, well that's... that's There's the probably thing. a corpse laying there with a ring of the visibility on its finger. Yeah, because I don't think everybody in the party has one yet. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Actually, I can give mine to someone. Don't need it any longer. Right, um, well, I'm, I'm done questioning um, Eliza. I would like to give her my thanks. I would like to address Pam and say welcome. What took you so long? I w was running here. Yeah. I overslept he overslept in the tavern? I exactly. I overslept and I was just... Did you have a bad dream about it. fighting dragons? No, actually, I had a pleasant dream with fairies, friendly ones. Why? <laughs> well, that's not how it worked out for us. Sorry? Yeah, we yes. all had a shared dream. We had a collective dream. We were fighting the black dragons from the cave. Oh, that's nasty. It was. Yeah, not as nasty as that dwarf and wooden. No, we died, but we woke up. <laughs> <laughs> no, they died. Let's get that straight. <laughs> we Ooh, died look at the manly man.
Well, I'm glad you're with us, Pam, because I think we're going to need all the assistance we can get coming through these corridors. Indeed. Yes, I'm glad to be here, too. Yeah, we missed you last week. Have a bunch of homework? Uh, yes, I have a photography work that I had to do. Yeah, it's, it's okay, mate. It's okay, mate. I, I'll just let you know as well that it's lucky that you came at this exact time because we searched all of those crypts that you came through and there was nothing in there at all. There was, sorry? <laughs> There was nothing, nothing in there. Nothing yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, yeah, you, you, you lucked out on that because it was very boring and tedious. We went for it or we checked the traps and there was nothing. Oh, my I gosh. Mean, <laughs> at all. <laughs> I like it. You guys are great. Yeah, I watched I watch the stream to double check that. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't know. <laughs> Yeah, my character won't, but I will at least. <laughs> Alright, Gregus, I put a hand on your shoulder, mate, and say, let's do this. Who has the cat? Well, the cat's just stood up and is starting to follow you guys around, just kind of uh, weaving its way in between everyone. Wow. Well, what do you guys want to name it? I don't trust you, cat. Meow. <laughs> How about I bet the old lady sees through the cat size. Big Biggles worth. Enjoy your and stay. When you kill it, Kelpazard gets angry. Ah, oh, that was my detect traps roll for these spiral stairs. These stairs here. You detect nothing. Is that a wraith in the corner? Or are you just happy to see me? <clears throat> Oh! <laughs> yeah, I asked that question when we first got in this room. He said it's a glitch on the map or something. Oh. It's part of the diagram. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the game. Ah! <laughs> nice. No, there was another one on the floor that disappeared. I thought that's what you were talking about. Is that a portcullis? It is a portcullis. I take it this is just like an open passageway, there's no door I can see um, this far, so to speak. This is the Hall of Scalded Flesh. A reinforced, a reinforced wooden portcullis with the iron spikes sunk into the floor seals the south end of this 20 foot wide, 60 foot long tunnel. At the opposite end of the hall stands a lifelike painted statue of a huge red dragon poised as though ready to breathe fire. Nested in an... Yes? Where, where is this dragon at? North. Because I, I, don't, I don't see that. Okay, go ahead. Hold on one second. Let me reveal it for yeah, you. Yeah, can you ping it? No, I'm revealing it for you. Okay. just going to say you guys are... Uh, Basically, out here. Not liking around. the name of this hall. I don't like that either. What's the name of it? Pierce Nested in an okay. alcove along the west wall is a six foot tall, beautifully sculpted alabaster urn. Also, set into the west wall between the statue and the urn is a stone archway with a cloud of red mist swirling beyond. Uh, Gregos? The name of the hall is oh. the Hall of Scalding Flesh. Right on. I, I assume this is how the teleportation devices work. If there's, if we can see like a red mist coming from that room, um, then maybe the red co covered room will teleport us there. Was there mist in the other room? No, there wasn't. I don't recall any mist. First yeah, I don't remember that. Figure out how to get past this portcullis. Um, well, I'm going to go back to the teleportation room, if you would allow me to, and press on the room to see whether or not it will take me to there. Have fun. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, you want to do that alone? Um, I'll come with you. I'll come with you, come on. Put your ring on. 
Me and you I, I, Greg has got me. I would rather save the ring for the dragon. Okay. So I'm you gonna go back with tomorrow. You don't know where you're gonna be teleported to, though. It might not be this room. That's a chance I'm gonna take. I mean, that one's 10A and this one's 10B, but... <laughs> no, but I, I'm kind of put, trying to put two, two and two together. The coloured rune and the coloured uh, mist. Don't let him lie to you. He just wanted to get me back in this little alcove alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you heard she said I was quite feminine. But you're the one that offered to go, Gross. <laughs> I did. Sorry, sure you didn't want to go with him? I do. Okay, I'm going to press on this rune, the red one, and okay. see where it takes me. Dungeon Master, if you can take me where you think it would take me. It takes you to yep. 10B. Yep, I'm going to do the same in unison. Okay, you both are at 10B now. Okay. Alright, so can we see through the mist that's in this room? Is the mist doing anything when we get here? It's just like a just a red swirly mist. It doesn't have any kind of taste, smell, or anything like that. It's just a it's red just mist. Some magical mist then. Yeah. Not like a not like actual water vapors swirling in the room. No, it doesn't have any texture to it at all. It's just uh it's just like nothing. But it's but you can definitely tell it the uh, the dust is swirling around and the smoke and everything. It's it's just uh, definitely eerie. You've never seen anything I, like it before. Now, if I peep around this corner, can I see through the Porticus um, Purist that sta and Vey that stand in there? You sure can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send some more of a message. Tell him to make sure he checks for traps and don't touch anything until we're all together. Um, am I able to respond to your message, or can I shout to you and you would hear it from this distance? You can do either. Yeah, you can do either. You're not that far away, so... Shut up, bitch! Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> 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 Only some more can hear my message. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna say, <laughs> they get back into the stairwell. <laughs> And purist. Shut up, bitch. That's so funny, man. That's right. Do as you're told, woman. No, Gregos. My thinking here is that if I come out here, this dragon is gonna breathe fire down. Yep. So I am gonna try and check check for traps first. Let's hope you're better at it than you were the fireball trap. Me too, buddy. He didn't check. Yeah, I don't know that. Okay. Do I check for traps? I don't know. I did, did you check for traps? Well, I did, yeah. He did. Okay, yes. You don't find anything. I am it was just funny the way he asked it. Did I check for traps? <laughs> I am now going to put on my ring of invisibility. Okay. Zoop. You disappear. Damn, I should have I got that one from Vey. You notice I'm that the statue is attached to, uh, to a circular base. Uh... Gregos, you can actually push on a little bit, and it seems to be stationary, and it does not move. Okay, just getting it out of the way, are you? Did you know I was going to try it? Not, yeah. <laughs> now, this here, did you say it was an urn, or...? That is an alabaster urn, correct. And uh, how big is this urn? Don't open it. It's... <laughs> it's as big as the other urn. It seems to be uh, the weight of about 500 pounds. You kind of shake it a little bit, and <laughs> it seems to be full, and it weighs a lot. So you're thinking probably 500 pounds again. So, And the designs on this are images of horses and stags. Wait, wait, wait. Tomorrow I got an idea. Go for it. Search around the base of the urn to see if maybe it's sitting on a switch that would open the portcullis or close the portcullis. Mm. You're quite right. Let, mm. let me to do that. What kind of check do I need to do for this? Is it to search? Would be an intelligence check, wouldn't it? Correct. Intelligence check, please. I'll gladly do that for you, my old chum. Hmm. Intelligence is not my strong suit. You search around the floor, and you basically you you don't find anything. Um, it doesn't look like it's been moved any time in the past or anything either. So 
Okay, now this portcullis, did you say it was made out of wood or iron? It is, it is made of...